This video is for those people who want to learn Facebook ads to create more landing page views on their website. So if you have a website, you are running a D2C brand, you are running uh, um, uh, a coffee store or you are running anything that is on website, how you can leverage Facebook ads for that. So let's go step by step. So this is how a Facebook ads manager looks like. The first thing that you need to do is create. And when you click on create, Facebook shows you multiple options. Let me try to simply break it down for you. Awareness basically means top of the line or top of the funnel uh, awareness building. So which are the formats that you can run ads through this is you can do a reach, you can do a brand awareness, you can put an image and you can show to a lot of people or you can put a video and you can show to a lot of people. So in my experience, I can suggest you one thing that uh, click awareness only when you want to reach a lot of people but you don't want to optimize it for clicks or a landing page visit or whatsoever. Traffic is for those people who want to increase, increase link clicks and landing page views. What is a landing page view? Basically, let's say you have one landing page or you have one home page where you want your traffic to go to. That is basically called your landing page views. Engagement is nothing but to increase post engagement. So if you are putting out a Facebook post or an Instagram post, you want to increase the likes, comments, shares and anything. This is for them. Leads is for creation of lead generation inside the Facebook ecosystem. So if you want to do if you don't want to take that person to a different page and capture the lead, this allows you to uh, to show an ad, a person clicks on that particular ad and a lead form opens up and the person can fill it them, then and themselves. App promotion is for those people who has uh, who has an app and they want to promote it. Sales has for sales has for conversion. So the difference between your traffic and your sale is there's a traffic optimizes for clicks and landing page views, while your sales optimizes for ad add to cart or for purchase. Now the difference between both is is simply sales is done by those people who have run Facebook ads for a slightly longer time and hence you have more data. The algorithm has slightly more data to understand and take a call on. But the ideal form is if you're starting a new new company um, from scratch, my suggestion is go to traffic, click on continue. And this is what the first window comes up. So the best practice is always uh, the, the number of campaigns you have should be segregated by multiple names. You can have your own nomenclature of your naming style, which will help you. And this is what this is what I I generally do. So let's say let's assume that we are building a case on a coffee brand, a coffee brand which sells two type of co products. Let's say one is a coffee bean and one is a coffee can. So let's say coffee bean is one product. So what I will do here is I will uh, write coffee bean, the product category or the SKU first. Then I will write the type of the campaign. So let's say I want to optimize this for landing page views. So I'll write the campaign name. Then I'll put an underscore. I will write the date when the campaign is starting. So it's 6th October. So I'll write 6th October. Now what it does is when you're running a lot of campaigns uh, and if you write the date it started, it just gives you slight more flexibility that, okay, this campaign started pretty long back. And hence you can take an advanced call. So we'll be talking about advanced call that when a cam and this is a pro tip. Let me just give you when a campaign is way too long, uh, which means uh, four month, five month, one year, and the campaign has started showing the the costing being high, the cost per customer acquisition being high. Switch off the campaign, duplicate the campaign, and create another same campaign on that. You will again start seeing low. Now this is a small hack that a lot of people do, uh, and yeah. Thank me later. Then we go on next. This is where the major action happens. So what you will do here is in one one campaign, you can have multiple ad sets. Ad sets are nothing but cohorts of the audience that you want to target. Maybe in one one uh, ad set, you want to have coffee lovers. Maybe in one ad set, you want to have HNIs. Maybe in one ad set, you want to have business professionals. And every ad set will have a different targeting and different uh, creatives. Do not repeat the same creative with the same uh, with multiple ad sets. What will happen is you are cannibalizing uh, that that own that your own particular ad account. So let's say we are targeting. So this is a website. So I'll create a website. 
I'll go down. I'll select. So you can do two things: lifetime budget, daily budget. The difference is daily budget. Make sure that you have certain kind of uh, traffic on your particular day, and you have certain kind of spend. So it is it is in a control. If you do not want a steady line budget spending, click on lifetime. What lifetime does is you are allowing the Facebook algorithm to figure out whenever the whenever there could be lesser cost. Of that inventory, it will spend on that particular day. Whenever it's a higher higher cost, it will not spend on that particular day. Go here, click on. Let's say I am selling in Bangalore. If you're outside India, Bangalore is a pretty pretty uh, big metropolitan city, very famous for its cafe culture. Click on age. I'm hoping as a business, you already know who is your target audience and what's what's the age. And I'm just putting a random age. Let's say it's uh, 25 to 35. Then I'll go to detail targeting here, and I will start searching for coffee, and I will see what is this. And this is let let, let me tell you uh, again another pro tip here and the difference here. People who are interested in normal coffee, if you are selling a brand which is positioned as a brewed coffee, or which is positioned as an Arabic Arabica coffee. which means that people who generally drink instant coffee will not relate because because when you say coffee in your mind you think that okay coffee lovers are one but not coffee coffee is again segregated into multiple variation you have very normal coffee lovers to mid range who understand what is arabic and uh, robusta and everything then you have specialty coffee lovers so if you need to understand that and then what you will do is you will start finding words like specialty coffee click on suggestion and then i will start finding these technical terms so that i have a refined audience that okay my positioned is going to that particular uh, that particular brand that that particular interest who understands a slightly enhanced or a slightly costlier coffee do that if your estimated audience size is more than 5 lakh you are at a good space but try uh, try to see that okay if it's in a 1 million it is it is best space i will change it to languages languages basically means that people who are using facebook in a certain language do not uh, i don't recommend to change placements because your costing will go high here is where the main action happens so you have to optimize for uh, you have to click on the optimization and delivery there are the two major optimizations landing page views and link clicks let me define you both of them landing page views means facebook is optimizing when the person clicks on your link and goes to your landing page that is one link clicks does not mean people are clicking on the cta button link click can mean people clicking on anything it can be a like button comment button share button or anything it will count as link click what i generally recommend is go to landing page views and then click on next and then and then obviously uh, this is i will not spend enough time here this is where your main action happens uh, you have to put a primary text you have to put a headline and you have to put a creative uh, better the creative less the cost uh, a uh, bad the creative higher the cost is is uh, is pretty much simple and and this is how you create a landing page views facebook ad campaign for a coffee brand now it can be you can replicate the same thing for anything you can replicate the same for your fashion brand or whatsoever but always remain that into concern that what exactly as i said you here that whenever you are choosing interest a broader interest is only applicable for a lower ticket size product whenever you are doing a higher ticket size product do not go for a generic generic keyword because what happens generic does not mean everyone is relating to that let me give you another example let's say you want to you want to target people who are interested in banarasi sarees you will target people who are interested in banarasi sarees kolhapuri sarees and everything and not just sarees because normal just sarees can be anyone who is living in a very very small town and just normally interested in saree that's that's it for today next uh, we will be talking about other other case studies feel free to subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more about um, how do you run ads by yourself if you are a small business uh, owner or if you are a founder